Hi. About five months ago, I reviewed the organelle, but with the release of a new program for it called ORAC by open source developer Mark Harris, aka the Techno Bear, it just got much, much better. As a matter of fact, since this program is open source, this can mean big news for other open source platforms too. Let me explain what the big deal is. If you haven't seen my Organelle review, in a nutshell, Organelle is a flexible musical computer that can run open source programs and mainly patches written in pure data, a language designed for creating digital musical instruments. And indeed, both Critter and Guitari, the company that makes Organelle, as well as an active third-party developer community, started creating patches for it. With these patches, it can be a sampler, a synth, a sequencer, an effects machine, a looper, and more. There are dozens of patches out there. There are also organelle versions of other open source instruments like grids, clouds, elements, and rings from mutable instruments. But all that abundance brings a big first world problem. You can only run one patch at a time. And now that there are so many patches out there, what if you wanted to combine them? What if you wanted grids to sequence samples and then add reverb to it? And what if in parallel you wanted a Rhythmicon to sequence rings into clouds? Since all these patches already exist in open source, you could potentially build such a mega patch on Organelle, but you'd need to hook up a keyboard, mouse, and screen to it and start programming everything in pure data and potentially C++, depending on what you wanted to do. And I'm guessing that's something that 99% of Organelle users, and certainly me, just can't do. The end result is that for an average person, it's really easy to load up dozens of patches onto Organelle, but you can only use one patch at a time. And that's where ORAC comes in. ORAC is short for Organelle Rack, though it's open source and can potentially run on other platforms as well. And the idea is that it gives you an easy way to connect different patches on the fly using a very simple interface that doesn't require any programming at all. Just drop in the patches you want, in the slots you want, and it will route audio and MIDI from one to another. In the current version, it comes with 10 slots arranged in four different routings. This is an example of one of those routings that has three parallel paths. So for example, I could take a Rhythmicon, plug it into a sampler, and then add reverb to it. And then in another path, I can have grids sequencing rings into clouds. Think of these arrangements sort of like guitar pedals on a pedal board, only each module can pass on not just audio, but also MIDI notes. And aside from the ability to bring in patches on the fly, there are a few extra cool features. For example, ORAC lets you control each separate module, both with MIDI notes and CC parameters. There's MIDI Learn, so you can easily hook up your controller knobs to module parameters. There's built-in support for Ableton Link for wireless sync and a global clock for tempo control presets let you save the entire state of the device and you've got mix and gain control for each of the chains and modules. So let's take a look at what this looks like on Organelle. ORAC appears like a patch, like any other, but it actually comes bundled in with plenty of the open source patches you might be familiar with if you know Organelle. There are currently 10 slots which you can access through this shortcut, or pressing the encoder and hitting any one of the keys. The first thing you wanna do is probably pick one of the routings, depending on whether you want one long chain of 10 patches or one of the three other options, which give you two, three, or four parallel paths. Then you just pick the slot you want and populate it with anything from the list. I'll pick, uh, let's say, Punchy, which is a nice simple sequencer. That goes in slot zero, which is the uh, first slot in my chain. And for the second slot, I will pick, uh, let's say, uh, notice by the way, in terms of naming conventions, the utilities start with U, and then patches that generate sound start with S, the routings, start with R, and then the effects start with F. Anyway, I will pick, um, let's say just analog style here. And yep, if you're familiar with Organelle, what you just witnessed is magic. We can edit this patch and then with a quick shift click, go back and create a simple sequence. 
And now this sequence run by this particular sequencer, which lives in module slot number zero in this particular case, is sending MIDI information to slot number one, which has our analog style synth, and we could have picked any other synth for that slot, effectively turning the organelle into a completely modular synthesizer. And we can just keep going. Let's go ahead and populate the third slot, which is number two. A little bit confusing there, because it starts with zero. And let's put um, reverb there. I can mess around with the parameters a bit. Now, all three modules are fully active and multitasking. I can go back to the sequencer and change its parameters. And as you can see, we pretty quickly run out of knobs. So you can go ahead and with simple MIDI learn, map an external controller to control each and every one of the parameters in each and every one of the modules. So that's basically how easy it is to create one chain. Let's mix things up a bit. I've set up four parallel track routing here, and I've got a whole bunch of modules, one after the other, two per track, different sounds and effects, and sequencers. On the routing menu, I can control gain on a per chain basis. So if I want my drums to come in, I can just increase the gain for that particular chain. And if I want to edit the parameters, I just hop into the grids module that's powering my drums and mess around with those parameters. And if I want to play live on my basic poly, hopping between modules is super simple, just like that. Now, there are a few more gems in here. For example, like I said before, there's MIDI Learn for any of the parameters. And there's preset support, so once you've configured everything the way you like, you can just save it. You can assign different patches to different MIDI channels and control them with different controllers if you like. Or you can have them sequence external gear on different channels. And there's global clock support with Ableton Link. I think ORAC is a profound addition to the Organelle platform and to open source music overall. And I think it's going to accelerate innovation in the field in a big way, because patch creators will be able to focus on where they truly add value and leave the rest to a platform like ORAC. And of course, for musicians, this opens many, many more options. So kudos to Mark for putting this together. Please check out his YouTube channel linked below for more updates and a detailed explanation of how to use ORAC if you have an organelle. If you enjoyed this clip, please hit like. And if you want to see more, click subscribe and the little FM notification bell so that you won't miss the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>